Good morning, everybody. A short while ago now, I changed jobs. It was a massive change for me as I'd worked in the same role for over 35 years. I was always quite happy in my job as far as I was concerned. It was where God wanted me and I was being a witness to God in my workplace. But I started to feel a bit unsettled, a bit stagnant. Was it time to change? Did God have other plans for my career? Was I needed somewhere else? These were all questions that kept going through my mind. I kept praying that if God wanted me to change jobs, then he would provide a way. I seen a job advertised, so I applied. Already nervous at this early stage. But when God has plans for me, I know he will provide a way for them to come to fruition. All the way through the process, applying for the job, filling in the application, having the interview, etc. And then eventually changing jobs. God was in it. God got me through all my worry and anxiety. God provided me with so much. God was going to make that change and he was going to provide everything I needed to make that happen. But I needed to be open to that change. I needed to respond to what God was doing here. He provided me with someone to help me with the application. He provided me with people to encourage me. And he provided me with a church family and friends to pray for me and to do the references for me. I didn't get the job I applied for. The one I thought was for me, no. God knew better than that. God knew there was a role for me. The one God had planned for me to have. But even then, when the job was offered to me, I tried to put things in the way. So I couldn't take it, saying it wasn't enough money. It wasn't enough hours. I wasn't sure I'd like it. But God provided the answers for all those unnecessary worries. And he wasn't going to let me turn down a job that he knew was right. Not only for me, but a job where I can show care to people. I can be Jesus' hands and feet. I can share the same love Jesus showed to people. The same compassion. A job where I can try and make a difference to people's lives. God knows when it's time for change. God knows when it's time for growth. But again, I know I have to play my part in that. I have to respond. Not only in the situation of going for a new job, but also in my relationship with God. To grow in my relationship with God, I need to spend time in God's company. I have an olive tree in my back garden. I've had it for a few years now. I think it was a Mother's Day present. In the past, it's had olives growing on it, but I noticed this year that it stopped growing and the branches and the trunk were changing colour. So I changed the pot and I filled it with new soil and I added plant food. And almost immediately, you could see the new growth appearing on the branches. It was changing. One of the most amazing stories in the Bible is the one about soul, how God changed soul. He was struck down by a blinding light on the road to Damascus. So he was blinded and told to go to the city. He would then be told what to do. So he was blinded for three days and he didn't eat or drink. Meantime, Jesus had appeared to Ananias and told him to go to Saul. But Ananias was afraid as he knew Saul's reputation of persecuting Christians. Saul went through a massive conversion and massive change. So went from being a disgrace to God to being a follower of Jesus, one of the most productive evangelists. After his conversion, Saul changed his name to Paul. Saul indicates the persecutor, while Paul refers to the changed Christian man. What an amazing change God had made here. Nothing is outside the power of God. Over the summer, Debbie talked to us about Lydia, how God had opened her heart to respond to Paul's message. God had changed the direction of Lydia's life. Betty spoke about Barnabas, the son of encouragement. When God prompts us to encourage people and we respond to that, encouragement can bring about change. I know when I spend quality time with God, listening to God in prayer, reading the Bible, I know when I do this, God is changing me. 
This is not something I can control. This is in God's control. Just like me making room for my olive tree in, in repotting it in the new soil and feeding it. I have to make room for growth in my relationship with God. I need to feed myself on God's word, in prayer and in that relationship. I accepted the job that God had planned for me. And I now know that it was the right job for me. God was right and I really do feel I'm in the right place. Yes, the change was challenging at times, but God doesn't promise we won't go through difficult changes. But what God does promise is that he will be with us by our side. And God always knows the bigger picture. The country is going through massive changes at the moment. With the appointment of King Charles after the sad death of the Queen. The government has just gone through a big change with a new Prime Minister. Change is happening all around us. At Christchurch we're going through a big change at the moment. We all need to be the best that we can be, supporting each other. We need to pray for our unity, pray for our relationships, growing in our love for Christ and for one another. We need to be supporting each other in any way we can and supporting our leadership team through this time of change and the changes that are ahead. We need to be praying for the appointments of our new rector. It will be a big change for us, but it's also going to be a big change for the person who God chooses for us. So as a family of God together, let's continually be praying for this whole process of finding the right candidate. We live in an ever-changing world and life is filled with ever-changing circumstances. But one thing we can be confident of about those changes ahead at Christ Church, we have a never-changing God who is always with us. He is our constant, our rock and our redeemer. Amen.